I'm Sarah Kaligian, the superintendent for the Folsom Cordova Unified School District. Welcome to another edition of In the Loop with the Sioux. Today, we're immersing ourselves in the thriving campus of Folsom Middle School, a dynamic hub where students, staff, and families come together for the growth of sixth through eighth grade students. Joining me today is Principal Dr. Terry Daniels. What can we expect to see on campus today, Dr. Daniels? Dr. Kaligian, I'm so excited that you're here today for us to showcase Folsom Middle School. You're going to see today our buddy class where some of our special needs students are actually in class with our typically developing students and that will be in an art class, which is really fun to watch. You're also gonna see our robotics program. You're gonna see our media productions class. You'll see our speech and debate class, which I'm excited about. This is new this year that we added to our elective classes. And then um, finally, you'll also see our instructional rounds where teachers will be visiting other classrooms to see best instructional strategies at work. Sounds wonderful. Shall we go take a look? Yeah, let's go. Okay, come on. At Folsom Middle School, innovation thrives through various programs and initiatives. Today, we are taking part in Instructional Rounds, a collaborative effort among educators to observe each other's classroom and learn from one another to find the best teaching methods for students. I just get to go and see veteran teachers doing what they do best. These are teachers who have accumulated 10 years, 20 years of experience, and it shows. I mean, we get to get all of that kind of boiled down in these 15-minute time slots where we get to see these teachers use all of the tools at their disposal and make connections that a first year or second year teacher might think is impossible, but we can do it. The rounds are part of Folsom Middle School's work on level two of becoming certified as a Marzano High Reliability School, which ensures effective teaching in every classroom. Folsom Middle School just received certification on level one of the HRS framework and are currently focusing on effective instructional practices. With HRS, you start to put things in bins and categorize things and say, this area is what's going to help us with this. This other area is going to help us with teaching. This area is going to help with safety and really help make sure that each of those are strong and not adding something new to the plate. Folsom Middle School will be recognized and celebrated for receiving certification on level one of the HRS framework at the award ceremony in San Antonio in January. Our campus tour continues as we learn about the Exploratory Buddy Program helmed by teacher Brianna Monday. This art elective fosters peer-to-peer -peer learning as students with special needs creatively collaborate with their gen ed peers. It's not only uh, beneficial for IL our ILS students, our social education students, it's beneficial to our general ed students as well because we're really creating this environment where I'm hoping that people can go out after middle school and you know into high school and into life and have these skills that they're able to really um, take to, to understanding people and just meeting people where they're at. Students were excited to share details about their clay sculpture project. As you see, I am making uh, my, my watermelon shark. We had to do foil and wire copper to make like the actual like body of it and then we did clay on top and so now we're painting it. Once the sculptures are painted, they undergo a transformative process in the kiln emerging as vibrant masterpieces. This course showcases the collaborative environment found in Folsom Middle School classrooms where inclusivity and creativity thrive. Now we make our way through the busy halls of Folsom Middle School to visit Mr. Bauer's speech and debate elective course, where students master persuasive communication. Today they're showcasing their original advocacy speeches. The students have carefully selected their topics and prepared their own three to four minute speeches about what they care about or believe in. Yeah. They got a lot more creative and a lot just more open and I don't have any kids like, like oh I can't do this anymore like I did at the beginning. Second semester we're going to do more formal debates. That takes a lot longer because I actually have to teach them, okay this is how you make a case, this is how you find good sources. Students say they feel supported to build their public speaking skills. You get extra time, uh, teachers are helping you, you get tips. You're not expected to know everything and like there's help all the way. My parents were like, oh, you should join this class and you're going to love it. And I was like, no, no, I'm not good with speeches. I'm going to say, OK, OK, it worked out. Yeah, it worked out. This elective provides students with skills to think on their feet and prepares them for effective communication in various settings. It's incredible to witness the diverse range of subjects the students here at Folsom Middle School are exploring. Now let's go visit the Automation and Robotics program where creativity meets technology. The Automation and Robotics program, led by Mr. Hatcher and Dr. Calandras, 
engages students in a hands-on exploration of technology. Students are currently working on a pool toy project that incorporates different kinds of gear systems. We chose the theme of Moana when she was a baby, uh, and we're gonna put waves all over it and make them move. Once students master the pool toy project, they will be working with motors, microcontrollers, sensors, and coding, allowing them to build and drive autonomous robots that can sense the world around them. Now let's turn to the media productions course at Folsom Middle School, where students work to produce JAG TV, a 15-minute school news program which airs on the SECC TV cable channel. The effort is thanks in part to the SEVA Grant Program, a joint project with Sacramento Educational Cable Consortium and the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable Television Commission to create and enhance media education throughout Sacramento County schools. We've got lighting and a green screen and um, also a teleprompter and some cameras and stuff, and it makes this makes this possible. They get to do stories about what they like, things that are really high interest for, for them and their peers, and it's just a great opportunity for them to learn another way to communicate. Students are editing with Adobe Premiere Elements video editing software. This stepping stone to Adobe Premiere Pro allows students to learn how to edit their footage into compelling videos. I shoot electives, it's like, fun to show like music, Spanish, leadership, this, this class, media, and robotics. I wanted to try learn how video editing because in my opinion, it's really like important for this year. Some students are looking to showcase their work at the 2024 Students Educational Video Awards by entering the free video contest open to Sacramento County students. The SEVA Awards are set to take place in February. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of In the Loop with the Soup where we explored the classrooms of Folsom Middle School. From innovative, inclusive learning initiatives to cutting edge robotics and media production, every facet of this school reflects the commitment to well-rounded education. To learn more about FCUSD schools and programs, head to our website at fcusd.org. I look forward to seeing you next time to keep you in the loop with the soup.